so frustrating in a loss like this, considering it follows that thing of digging a hole and a rally call. Sure. Yeah, just really 36 points in the first quarter. You know, they have, they have good players on the other side, and, and you can't get in a hole like that. So disappointing our defense, um, our, our, yeah, our defensive mentality was to start the game. And, you know, obviously the second half shows that we're, we're capable of doing it, capable of getting stops. But, you know, let our guard down in the first quarter, dug a hole, and, and too deep of a hole. What is the biggest difference that you're seeing between what you see from your guys in the first half versus the second half? Yeah, it's more of a sense of urgency. I think, you know, to start the game, we're kind of just, just waiting to see what happens instead of being the aggressor. I think um, on our heels, um, activity isn't high enough. Um, and it, it's, you know, one through five. It's, it's not, uh, you know, really one through 15. And, I think when we brought that second group in, you know, similar, we didn't get we didn't get stops, and, and uh, you know, not good enough. So, it's been, uh, I mean, it's not a long stretch that we're talking about. There's a couple of games now where it's frequently been from the start of games and the starters. Um, have you considered any lineup changes, or is that not in your line of thinking? No, listen, Brian. I mean. You know, I think uh, four losses in a row is we have to look at everything. You know, we have to look at what, you know, the starts, um, what our lineup looks like to start. I, I definitely think uh, um, we have to look at it. We have to analyze it and see uh, see if there's something to change up. Um, you know, we'll look at that and then the next day and see, see, see what's going on there. Uh, obviously, uh, one thing you can't change is uh, bringing Trevor Booker back. Uh, has the adjustment to losing him and his energy off that second unit uh, created a difficulty. And also, without playing Okafor, you're kind of playing a little shorthanded in a way. Do you think? No, no, Greg. I don't think we're shorthanded. I mean, we, we uh, you know, have Quincy and, and Jared in there as, a, as our backup bigs, and, and uh, you know, Rondé and Tyler. So we're we're um, we're not playing shorthanded there. I, I, you know, I thought Quincy gave us some, some, you know, some decent minutes, and uh, you know, Jared's a young guy trying to learn this league. Obviously, it's a, you know, that's a physical team. Did some good things. I thought he had some, you know, big blocks in, in the second half. So, uh, um, you know, just uh, we got, we got to, we got to get our rhythm. Um, in general, we've lost it. Uh, you know, these last four games. So it's a little, little perplexing. This game after, you know, I thought we. Uh, you know, had two good days to get ready for this game, and, and uh, um, you know, had you know was hoping we had the juice to to, to com compete at a higher level. But again, perplexed with the, with the first first quarter and the first half in general. Uh, you guys were out rebounded in the first quarter. Um, is that a concern going forward with games coming along? Sure, I mean, you know, we've rebounded pretty well over the course of the year. So I, I do look things, I look at things in a, a you know big picture. But uh, yeah, looking at the teams coming up, uh, you know, it's 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 something something we got to be better at. Obviously, Zach Zach got some big rebounds at the end of the game. He's he's one of the best in the league. Um, so that that hurt us. But again, I think all year when we've rebounded well, we've done it by committee. Uh, but uh, you know, we, we definitely have to do a better job, better job in these games, these tough games coming up. In, in the final minute, you guys had uh, two threes to go ahead, one to tie, uh, and and committed two turnovers. Is that just a case of running out of gas at that point uh, because it took so much effort to get there? I think it's a combination of things. I think, uh, I'm sure, all the energy you take to come back in the game, um, and then, you know, our execution was not you know, not great. Um, you know, I'll throw myself in, in, in that uh, kind of bucket with the guys. Could have done a better job at the end of the game. Um, you know, always debate. We're a team, you know, when the, when, the, when we have a chance to go, instead of taking a timeout, we, we want to go. That's just our philosophy. That's how we do it. But, uh, you know, these are things uh, we have to look at. We have to analyze. But uh, I, I do think there were some tough, tough shots taken. At the, you know, Spencer had a, you know, I don't know whether it was, you know, trying to draw a foul, but I, I thought a couple of his shots were, were tough shots. So can we move it, you know, again and, and get a better shot? And, and that's that, that was a theme we talked about before the game. Are we, are we, you know, um, can we?
should we get a, you know maybe it's a good shot we can get a great shot I think we're settling sometimes for, for average shots Last one, Brian. Um, a that was part of what I wanted to allude to I mean obviously your guys points in the paint come in a little bit more of a driving manner than some teams but did you think you settled on a number of occasions for yeah. shots that you could have done better with and B did you have any kind of vantage point whatsoever on that inbounds play at the end or could you not even see it? Yeah, no that was uh, the, the the out of bounds underneath one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No I had a yeah an advantage point we didn't execute well. So put that on me. I think that's 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 a coach's job to get the guys to execute well um, at the end of games and that, that's that's disappointing. Um, but yes, Brian, I, I do think uh, uh, you know when we preach driving the ball, we're we're one of the top driving teams in the league, and, and I do think we're we're settling a little bit, and uh, you know we got to correct it. And, and you know only 23 free throws, it's not enough, not enough against a team on a back to back. Uh, you know, you know not a team with with that you know amazing. Rim protection. Not not sure why we're not getting to the rim more, but we got we got to look at it. We're gonna have a you know some some long film sessions coming up. I can, I can guarantee you that. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.